everybody welcome back to another video hope you're all well hope you're all doing good hope life is treating you splendidly today's vid is another makeup one of course that's what we're about on this channel so if you want to see how i created this look keep watching and um, i'll show you everything that i do start to finish i go into a bit of detail on products etc but yeah hope you all enjoy please leave a thumbs up subscribe comment all that jazz okay, but yeah if you want to see what i do to achieve this makeup look then keep watching thank you welcome back darlings it's been a while it's been about two weeks since I last videoed and made a YouTube vid for makeup. So, do you know what? I thought, I've got some free time. Why not? Today, we're going to try and do something new. I'm always trying something new recently and we love it. I've got some tan on because, guess what? Going out again this weekend. Woo! Let's night out. Right, so today I was literally just thinking, I've never done um, a black smoky, you know, like eyeshadow wing look. So I was feeling that. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to introduce some new products, try and switch it up a little bit. But you know, it's been a little while since I've made a vid. So no one's even probably noticed, to be honest with you. But the last couple of weeks have been cray cray. So without further ado, let's just get into the vid. Thank you. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And you can comment if you really loved it that much. So see you in the next bit. I'm gonna go in and do soap brows. So I've just got, as usual, my soap brow little tin, got a tiny bit of spray, mixed it all together. And it looks like a little paste like this. Hope everyone's been having an absolutely phenomenal time going out because I know I have. So I hope everybody else has. Um, it actually feels like nothing ever changed when you get back into the routine of it personally. Like, I feel like I'm back to normal, but obviously there's still more to come. Like, June 21st, where you don't have to wear a mask. Still not booked a holiday. Really want to. Beat Herd got cancelled. Can't remember if I said that in the last vid, but that was a really sad time. Can't get tickets for Warehouse Project. There's nothing going on in my life exciting, apart from me and my friends, the gals, um, are going to Liverpool the first weekend after June 21st, which is the 25th and 26th, Friday and Saturday. So we're going to go out because it's George's birthday. So shout out to you gal. <laughs> we're all going to the pool and we're stopping in like a massive apartment airbnb thing it's gonna be sick there's like i think there's like 16 people she's booked it for so that is gonna be the best night out ever um i love going to liverpool so much i feel like i've actually got so much to update for anyone who cares i've got a new job i've got a job at selfridges at natasha denona literally so excited oh that's why i've been so busy recently quickly i'm just gonna pop on at the p louise little base like i always do just get it on the back of my hand like this it's the shade rumor 02 for anybody who wants to know and i'm just gonna go in with a flat brush like that and just pat it on so yeah um i've basically got a new job but i'm also still going to be working at costa um so it's at the trafford center um and it's going to be like weekend works uh so that's exciting got my first shift next friday the 4th of june um yeah i can't wait i'm literally so excited like i know people are probably thinking why so it's like it's just a job but like i've dreamed of working at selfridges for literally years like i've always wanted to work at mac but obviously 
I'm just gonna take what I can get at this point because getting a job in Selfridges in general is quite difficult. Especially like with contract hours wise, because like Mac, I've seen them a few times actually advertise um, their jobs, but it's like 30 hours and I can't commit to 30 hours because I'm, I'm still at college and I will be going back to college in September. I'm also just going in with the Morphe cream, the concealer that I use quite a lot on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go under the brows directly rather than using P. Louise. But um, yeah, I can't commit to a 30 hour contract because that's literally just like full time, isn't it? And I will be back at college in September. Um, and I think that's two or three days a week still, like I do now. Well, I do two days a week now, but I'll literally be finished in like a couple of weeks because my course is nearly done for the summer and I'm buzzing about that because extra long summer, here we come. But I'm basically, I've got this job through a concession, they call it, so it's like an agency. And they, um, I'm guessing they have a contract with Selfridges, I think that's how it works. And then like, so the concession, which is the agency, is employing me. I'm not directly employed by Selfridges, but my foot is in the door and that's all that matters and I'm so excited. I think I've said that about 16 times, but they had my inductions Monday, Tuesday, online over Zoom. And let me tell you, going back to Zoom isn't fun. Um, my, what's it called? My name badge got ordered. So gonna have a little yellow name badge soon. Okie dokie, so first of all, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 350. This is truly loved, you can see how knackered it is. Yeah? My apologies, mother wanted a hand with the shopping and I just quickly made a cup of tea. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 350 palette. And I think the first shade I'm gonna pick on quite a fluffy bro. I think I'm just gonna go in with this one. Next, I'm just gonna use a brush that's like this, and I'm gonna go into this shade right there these two shades that i'm using today i literally use all the time they're the ones that i hit and pan the most <laughs> and i'm gonna do the same it doesn't need to be so so neat because i'm gonna smoke it out obviously with the wing kind of like in an angled direction and I'm just gonna go back in with the dark one probably for the last time and just deepen up the crease. <gasps> I had my jab on Wednesday, today's Friday. It was in this arm. Can you see the mark? Look, can you actually see? I can see it now but I don't think you can. I had my jab. Oh well, we're all one step closer. I just need my second one and then I can go on holiday and I can go clubbing. Woo! Give me my vaccination passport and you can immediately see me in a club. Okay. I'm just going to get my two angled brushes. Can you even see? And I mean different sizes. So one's a bit thicker, like bigger wise, and one's a bit smaller. This is what I always use if I fill my eyebrows in, but it works really, really well. So spray the small one. So it's wet and then what I, ne I do next is I'm going to dip it into the very dark shade at the bottom but tap it, tap it off otherwise you're going to get flipping eyeshadow like everywhere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out where I want the smoke, the smoke, where I want the liner to go. Probably speed this part up but yeah, I'll come back once I've done one eye.
so I just quickly did that off camera hopefully this is gonna go okay because it's definitely something I've not tried before I'm literally just gonna get this little brush dip it back into that shade oh I need to spray it first as you can pack it on there like so I'm not being majorly careful because it needs to be well the look I want I want it still to be quite buffed out, quite focused. Right, we're gonna do the angled bit now. Because you kind of want it to be a little bit of paste. Ooh. Right. Okay, now I'm just gonna go under the eye. Okay, and now I'm just, cause obviously that one's more blended and you can tell the difference. Like, look at that. No. So we don't want that. Uh, literally grab the same brush and blend it upwards. Just really carefully though. And then I'm also gonna get the brush that I mentioned before, the bigger one, and do it with that as well. And we're just gonna get one of these little People call them Q-tips, but they're literally just able to me. Go under it like so. They're actually really equal. Wow. Well done to me. So I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used for the second shade. So the, what do you call it? The crease shade. I'm gonna go back in, you can't even see, back in and blend. Literally just blend the line of shade in to the crease shade. I've also really been considering getting a camera. Okay, so we kind of get the gist of what we're doing, don't we? We just feel like we wanna darken it up again. Go for it. Just gotta trust the process, ladies and gents. Eyes are finished, so now we're gonna go into the skin. With Zalin, get into it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using Max Drug Cream. Honestly, it's my favorite. And go everywhere, all over. going in with the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation and the Fit Me Foundation. I'm going to use my finger and mix it together on the back of my hand and do that. Oh, I think that's well nice colour. Beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. I look so scary right now. Wow. Now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe foundation brush and I'm just going to buff it in. That is an ick. That sound, ugh. <sighs> Baby. Video, let's get into the video. Right then, so next, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Concealer and Cream Console. <laughs> if I don't drop it, that is. Use the same brush. 
that I used for the P. Louise base and I'm just going to go in straight under the eyes not too close to the lash line because I've obviously put the black smokey liner under there I'm just gonna go straight in with my beauty blender. Normally I use a fluffy brush, but just for the effect that I want, I'm just gonna go straight in with the beauty blender. I know it's really dirty, don't come at me for that, thanks, bye. Right, I'm just gonna quickly go back over the smoky liner because Obviously I've concealed it underneath so it's made it really nice and sharp but I'm just going to bring that colour back in. I'm just going to get this brush that I've used quite a few times in my previous vids and then just go right in there. I'm already hitting pan, wow. And I'm just going to dab it on. So nice and bronzy. Like look at my forehead now. Looks like I've bloody been on holiday ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm doing the exact same but placing it quite high towards the back of my cheekbones. And I'm doing this so lightly, just patting it in, making sure it blends really seamlessly. Oh my god, I'm sweating my tits off. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Luminous Spray. Also got this when I went shopping. Would highly recommend it. it also apologies, it's covered in pink glitter. We're gonna go in with the Morphe Translucent Powder. Now, for a little bit of a change, we're going to go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm just going to use the brush that I always use, which is a really nice fluffy one. I'm just going to pick this end shade here. I'm just going to start by going in the, on the temples. Now, I'm just going to go on my cheek. Gonna get a little brush and I'm just gonna go into the same shade and I'm gonna go along my nose. Next up then, blush time. The same brush I always use and and I'm just gonna go. Oh, this cushion's so annoying. I'm just gonna go in with the Milani blush in shade 05. What I always do is I do this so that I can see where I want the blush to sit. So I'm just gonna do that. Next up, of course, my fave highlighter ever ah, is the Amrise Anastavia Anabava. Huh? Amrise Anastavia. Oh my god, why can't I talk? The Amrise Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. We're gonna go everywhere with this because I want to look like I am a bloody crystal ball. I just want to touch up the eyes before I put lashes on so I'm just going to go back in with the same shade that I use for the liner and I'm just going to go under the eyes to uh, darken it back up 
Now then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara and I'm just going to proper clump up the eyelashes. Everything always looks better when it gets towards the end. What is next? Okay, so for the lip combo today, I'm gonna be going in with the Peach and Cream Lip Liner, Peach and Cream Gloss, and the Morphe lipstick I've used a lot. So I'm gonna be using that today. Everybody wants to know the Peach and Cream Lip Gloss is in the shade Fudge. The lipstick is in the shade Wifey. Yeah and the cream the peach and cream lip liner is called feline i think that's what it says anyway and i'm going to slightly overdraw my lips Last but not least, I'm going to, they're upside down. I'm going to be going in with the, oh my God, what is wrong with it? <laughs> Last but not least, I'm going to be going in with the Be More Lashes and they are in the shade B102. I have cut them down and I've used them quite a lot because I love them. I have mentioned this brand in my vids a few times, so I'll leave them linked down below as usual. Um, but I'm literally just going to go in and I'm going to be using the Ilior glue today. I would normally use the Duo glue, but I think I've lost it. So, that is an actual sick question. So, if you could have any other accent apart from the accent you have right now, like that you obviously were born with and will have, um, what accent would you have? What is your fave accent? My favourite is Irish. I have always, always, always said I want to marry an Irishman. Lol. <laughs> but I also do love Australian. Like, I really do love an Australian man. <sighs> yeah. You know what I absolutely love for females? The Essex accent, like Gemma Collins and get the ache off this. But I always use my fingers to put lashes on. <laughs> Phenomenal. Pat on the back. I love it. Trust the process, guys. Literally, I always buckle it at the beginning because I'm like, oh my god, it's not going right. But then, like, you just have to persevere and then you end up with something that looks like this. Personally, I love it. And just whilst I wait for those to dry, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna go in with a bit more blush and a bit more colour back. I'm also really quickly before we finish, just gonna go over the um, lash line at the top of my lashes with the same shade that I've been using for the liner and just blend the lashes in. And then we're almost done. I'm just gonna go in with the same mascara again and go on my bottom lashes. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you all like it and I hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed watching it, enjoyed the little catch we had. Yeah, I really like it. I feel like I say that in every single video, but I do. It's literally exactly how I envisioned it. Peace and pow, boys me now. <laughs> so I will try and link all of the prod, not link, sorry, I don't even know how you do that. I will try and put all the products in the description um, and know exactly what I used. Um, but yeah, if you all enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. 
I'll see you in the next one.